So hello everybody. So we are starting on the on the paintwork. I'm going to start with the surface primer. This time I'm using uh, the uh, Vallejo black primer, as you can see. A um, bit of a test work with the uh, brush just to make sure it's painting properly. And then onto the uh, model. I started off painting on the dark areas, the little black radiators at the top of the uh, machine, and also in the uh, recessed areas, which are going to be black anyway. And then after that, I uh, went over the whole thing with uh, one complete coat of the uh, primer. There it is with the uh, finished coated black primer. Uh, here I'm just testing the autofocus on the camera. <laughs> I had a bit of difficulty with that at the time. Uh, so after I put the black primer on, I uh, went over the whole thing again with the uh, final colour, which is uh, the light grey. Uh, I'm using, I'm actually using a uh, uh, the Vallejo grey primer for this one, and uh, because. To me, the grey primer is just the right shade of grey for the uh, Star Wars starships. Starship grey. Star Wars starship grey, I like to call it. And uh, it works just fine to me on these models. I ended up using a technique here that is known as uh, black basing. That's where you've covered the whole model figure, whatever, in the black paint. And then you spray over it with a the lightest colour, white or in this case the light grey. And uh, if you leave, if you do it in just the right way, uh, basically what you're doing is you're spraying the uh, light color on in the in the direction of the light. So the dark areas, areas that would normally be in shadow, you generally don't apply as much paint on as you would. And as you can see, it looks like you know, slightly weathered already. Like parts of the areas of parts of the model are in shadow or shade. Anyway. Uh, it'll look a lot better when it's finished from us. So, yeah, so there it is with the uh, first coat of uh, grey primer on the final colour. Right then, so now I have uh, put some masking on it, just a little bit, because I don't have the means right now to make any cut out mass that are exactly the right diameter so I've you know, done my best around it. I'm going to fill the uh, gaps around it with uh, some of this stuff and uh, it's been a long time since I've used this stuff. It's a brand new bottle. Uh, last time I used this but it was in the 1990s so uh, yeah. Anyway here we go. Applying the mask all is a fairly straightforward process. I use a toothpick for this one. Uh, you can use a brush if you wish, for example. But uh, using a toothpick uh, was just as easy for me. Uh, there was some slight overrun of the edges, which is, uh, you'll notice when I remove the uh, masking. Uh, but that was fairly easy to touch up afterwards. Removing the masking on models like this is a uh, rather cathartic I found, <laughs> you know, because uh, you're not exactly sure that it's going to work out right and when it does it's it's pretty nice. It wasn't perfect as you can see with uh, what I've done here but it was uh, good enough. Uh, touching it up afterwards is, is was and is a first road pour process.
as you can see here I carried on with the toothpick to remove the uh, surplus bits of mask oil that won't that didn't come off originally there wasn't much to remove afterwards anyway I'm quite pleased with this, I gotta say. Uh, the uh, this last layer of uh, primer uh, has come over quite nice. Um, I didn't do too much on the bottom of the uh, model because I didn't figure when I finished with it, it's not going to be visible. So I just went round the edges really, and uh, I shall leave it as it is. So I'm not going to fill in the dark. Well, I might do just get a little brush and put in the dark areas. And then there's the uh, cockpit to finish. Uh, basically, just colour the window areas black, and uh, the area under the uh, guns. So the touch-ups on this model were uh, first rate forward. I'm just using the same uh, grey primer to cover up the areas that were not quite not quite covered up in the original spray painting and uh, as you can see there is a bit of over spray particularly on the uh, engine radiators at the back there but uh, that's fairly easily covered up with a bit of black paint afterwards. About to use some uh, of this. This is a uh, black Vallejo black uh, Negro seven one point zero five seven black. Uh, first time I've used uh, an actual colour from Vallejo that wasn't a uh, primer. So uh, yeah, done a bit of a test squeeze and it looks very finer than I than the primer. So uh, here we go. So if I turn the compressor on, that might help. So for this particular model, having a bit of overspray in these recessed areas onto the outside was fine because it, uh, that's what the ship looks like to begin with. So it was first row four to do and uh, it added to the uh, final look of the vehicle. So I've done the uh, some final spraying. I haven't done a, a particularly good job because you can see a bit of an overspray in that area there. I reckon I can uh, probably clean that up a bit later on. What I'm going to do now is have a go with the stickers over here and here. I'm not going to bother with the underside because you're not going to see that. So uh, yeah, here we go. So here we're applying uh, stickers over the uh, windows of the uh, the turret, as it were. And uh, as you can see, it was quite the chore to put these in here. The because um, while they do conform, the area into which they're being fitted isn't particularly conducive to putting in the putting this thing in. 
so it was quite tricky to get it in there. Uh, I ended up having to cut it to allow it to fit into the recess. So yes, uh, I probably won't be uh, using stickers again. Certainly not on the Bandai kits anyway. The stickers do stick pretty well actually. W once they're on, they're on and they're quite difficult to remove afterwards, which on some areas, if this was a flat area, then that wouldn't be a problem. But because uh, they are stickers for the uh, some of the flat areas on this, but I haven't used them at all. So. So I applied uh, stickers on the front of the cockpit there and then uh, trying to put them on the side there was really tricky because they all came in little pieces and uh, I eventually gave up because it just... I decided that painting it would be a lot easier and probably slightly quicker as well. So so I just took out the uh, layer paint and uh, gave it a bit of a going over over the uh, windows there. Later on I shall be touching it up with a bit of a glossy black instead, or some kind of gloss over top of it. So there you have it. So that's the end of the uh, this chapter, part three of painting the uh, tiny Millennium Falcon. Uh, if you like what you saw, tell your friends, and uh, if you didn't like what you saw, tell me why. Uh, anyway, take care, everybody, and uh, I'll see you in part four.